Hi guys, today I want to show you uh, how to get around Blender 2.5. Um, it is the newest version they've come out with. It's a beta, so it has a few bugs, but uh, it's pretty good overall. Um, it's different from the 2.4, the layout. If you guys are 2.4 users, uh, you can obviously tell, but it's uh, easier to start with. So um, if you want to try it, be sure to uh, start with the 2.5 because that's the main that's the main blender. So uh, what I want to show you today is just how to get around with the objects. So let's start with this. Uh, this is an object. It's a cube. Every time you open Blender, it'll come up unless you change the preferences, which I'm not going to show you today. Uh, so the main thing is uh, the scroll button. It's the middle button bef between your left and right mouse keys. So if you click that down and move it around, uh, you'll see that you can get a different perspective on your cube. Another way to get different perspective is with your keypad numbers. So let's start with zero. It's a camera perspective. So whatever is inside the the uh, gray square is what's going to be showing. Um, uh, another is what's going to be showing when you render your image. Another keypad is one. It's the front perspective. Uh, three is a uh, right perspective and seven is a top perspective. Now if you hit control one it gives you the back perspective instead of the front. Control three gives you the left and control seven gives you the bottom. So that's pretty handy to know if uh, you wanted to get those perspectives in. So let's start with what these Im objects are. This is your camera. This is what this is uh, what's going to be filming um, your animation or your image. So uh, let's get out of that. This right here is your light source. The, the light shines on this and uh, you can move your light source to give it shadows depending on what you want. Um, so let's start with some hotkeys. Uh, three fundamental hotkeys to know are is R. So if you click R your object will start to rotate. But before you do that make sure your object is clicked on. It should be orange if you if you have it selected. So if you hit R, you see that it starts to rotate. If you hit R again, you can rotate it in a different way, front and back. Uh, S is for scale. You can make it smaller or bigger. And uh, if you hit uh, Z, I mean X, you can scale it in that way. If you hit Z, you can scale it up and down. And if you hit Y, you can scale it just like that. So those are handy to know. Uh, another hotkey is G, which is grab, so it grabs your object. If you hit right, if you right click, it'll take your object back to where it was. And if you right click, that can also grab your object. So either one. Um, another hotkey to know is the Z. It takes your object into a wire frame, which is handy to have if you want to edit it and you want to get both sides of something. So let's go to the front perspective. So, uh, if you hit Z, this is what you'll get. If you hit Z again, you'll get the solid one, the solid uh, cube. Um, if you hit Tab, it'll take you into Edit. And this is uh, where you can sculpt your object, basically. Uh, if you hit A, it'll deselect. And if you hit A again, it'll select. So we want to deselect, and we want to right-click on a vertice. Uh, if we right-click and hit G, you can manipulate the cube just like that. Um, so if you right click again, uh, it'll go back to where it was. So a good way this comes in handy is when you have it on wire and you hit B, B is a box. So you can a box in half of those vertices. If you delete that by clicking X, you uh, click on uh, vertices and you're just left with that uh, face. So if you want to go back to how it was, uh, click Control Z. If you liked it better how it was, click on Shift Control Z and it'll go back. So, but we want to have our whole cube. So let's deselect all of this by clicking A and let's click Z to go back to your solid mode. Another way to get to these points is through down here. This is Object Mode. Um, edit mode, which is the tab. Um, sculpt mode, 
but you can uh, sculpt your object uh, but we won't go into that now there's vertex texture and weight let's go back to object mode uh, another hotkey to know would be W but right now it won't do us any good let's uh, go to edit and let's click on a couple vertices and hit W it'll give you the object the a menu and you can choose from what you whatever you want to do so let's get out of this and hit A to select all then W so let's subdivide subdivide gives you more vertices more vertices which gives you more to work with and if you wanted uh, more vertices than that if you come over here to under number of cuts you can increase that but let's just have it at 2 so that's good because with this if we were to deselect with A and uh, let's grab a couple vertices hit shift right click shift and hold down shift and right click and you can uh, select more than one vertice and if you were to hit E which stands for extrude you can extend that vertice just like that and if you see here you have another box a rectangle coming out of your square that's what extrude is for so let's control Z to put that back. You can extrude the opposite way of too, of course. And uh, you can see it comes out this side. But it's hollow right here. So uh, let's hit control Z. You can also extrude uh, with different axes. Just like that. That's the X axis. If you click on Y, that's the Y axis. And that's the Z axis. If you click on X, on Z, that's the Z axis. Uh, it's pretty helpful. Let's go back to camera view. Another nice thing about the camera view is, uh, let's get out of edit mode. You can manipulate your image while in camera view and, may, and you can make sure that it stays within the camera view. Just like that. And uh, if you wanted to change your camera view, you would just right click on it until it turns orange. And uh, hit the G key for grab. And you can just move it around to wherever you want it to go. If you saw there, my mouse went up and it uh, comes back just like that. And that's very helpful for if you need to go off the screen. You can continue moving it like that. So uh, let's go back and let's hit 1 to exit out of that. Uh, scroll to change our perspective. Um, most of these keys are on this window right here, which you can get rid of by clicking T. Which is helpful that if you don't need the toolbar window, uh, you'll have more space to work with. But if you need it, just click T and it pops right up. Another window that you can open, let's close that, with N, is the properties window. And this window tells you about your object. That if you, let me right click on my object. Let's scale it with S. If you see right here, it'll tell you what the scale and the dimensions are as you move it you pay attention to that and that's helpful you can also uh, click on it and make your own dimension for if you want to have a certain sized object just click on that bam just like that uh, same goes with rotation if I want to rotate my object you can see the rotation changes and location if I was to grab my object and place it elsewhere so I just want to control Z to get my cube back just like that. Uh, let's uh, open up. If you go up here to add, it, to, it gives you all the images that you can get. And let's add a monkey. And uh, we can. I can show you how to rotate this. Uh, let's move it in our camera view by clicking G while it's highlighted, and click R and R again. Then let's click R and shift it just like that and R and R again and now we have our monkey facing the camera and that's really nifty for a uh, let's get back there if you wanna do things just like that let's scale it and uh, as you can see you have your monkey uh, another thing that you can do let's get out of this view is uh, right here you can have a wireframe which is what I told you about, which is helpful for, uh, let's go into edit and click A to deselect, B for the box tool, 
and X and delete faces. So you can see it deletes half of my monkey, roughly. Um, if I click Z, you can see that. And uh, you want to do that with Z while you are in wireframe view. Because if you were to just, let's unselect that. If you were to just box this right here. And then delete it. If you notice that you didn't box quite everything. And so it just leaves it looking really weird if you were if you were wanting to do a mirror modifier, uh, which is uh, something we'll talk about in another tutorial. So uh, that's why uh, wireframe is nice to use. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or co uh, any questions about how to do something, just comment below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.